welcome back to part two. The fit of the toon is a small network of streets near the harbour in our broth in Scotland where for well over 80 years fishermen have smoked over an oak wood fire the famous Arbroath Smokies. This small haddock is caught in local waters and has gained a worldwide reputation as a much sought after delicacy. Let's join a North Sea fishing boat to hear more about it with Eddie. Fishing these days is big business. Fishing vessels use the most sophisticated equipment that technology has to offer. The object is the same as it always was, to catch as many fish as possible. The Scottish economy depends very much on the success of her various fishing fleets. The accumulated catches of all the boats during the course of a whole year are measured in millions upon millions of tonnes of sea fish. With modern equipment, every haul looks like a bonanza. But this catch of haddock will be the daily lifeblood for just one group of people on the east coast of Scotland. This boat is fishing from our broth in Angus to supply an exclusive market. At any time of the day, a bell rings in the streets of our broth. It signifies that the fleet is home, and within half an hour, an auction is in full swing on the quayside. No fish are sold fresher than here. The customers are mainly local, and the quantities that they'll buy can vary from 500 boxes to just five. 50. Haddock landed at our broth make a local delicacy known by gourmets the world over, the our broth smoky. For generations, the people of this little town have either earned their living or supplemented their income by making smokies. Quite simply, haddock split and hung to cure in wood smoke. Everyone here knows how to make them. Smokies are literally in their blood because everybody was brought up on them and goes on eating them into old age. But while the process may look simple, there's considerable art in making good ones. Each smoker claims to know the best way. In this method, the fish are tucked up under a blanket as though they're being put to bed. And then they're left for an unspecified length of time. No smoker is precise or he'd be giving away one of his own secrets. But about an hour or so later, he returns and peels back the blanket, letting out a glorious mouth-watering aroma of the genuine Arbro smoky and billowing clouds of smoke. The quayside area of Arbro is the only place in Britain exempted from the National Clean Air Act. The recorded history of the smoky probably started in the village of Ochmithi, three miles north up the coast. A century ago, this was the centre of the local fishing industry. Today, just a few remnants still show how it used to be. From the village on the ridge of the red sandstone cliffs, the fishermen walked down this pathway to their boats drawn up on the shingle below. And here is the women's lookout. And below is what remains of the harbour built at the end of the last century. That was when Ochmithi had 300 inhabitants and 40 sailboats. The harbour certainly eased their arduous lives. Previously, women carried their husbands out through the waves onto the boats, just to keep their boots dry. Everyone learned to help from a tender age. It was all hard work, and they thrived on it. But the continuity of Ochmithi village life came to an end after the First World War. Today, just one smoke hole survives. Meanwhile, our Broth's fishing industry had developed around a safe harbour. The scene today could be from any period, from ancient Greece to the last century. Here, they still build wooden craft up to 70 feet in length out in the open. Everyone is always seen to be busy. Apart from the whining of electric-powered sanders and polishers, there is a wonderful timelessness the dangerous demands of the open sea haven't changed at all. 
there's a strong sense of unbroken tradition in the seafaring community of our broth. Intermarriage with the other townsfolk is a very new idea. The harbour area and surrounding houses is always known as the fit of the tun and is quite distinct from the rest. You know when you're there because a wealth of signs implores you to buy only the best smokies. Each producer, whether large or small, makes that claim 